Hello everyone, Paul here from NetChat TV, and today is Friday, September 18th, and um, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Uh, first of all, I wanted to talk about my Jeep. Um, I checked underneath today and I had a little bit of oil leaking by the gearbox. Anyway, I took it in to the uh, 4x4 shop, and um, looks like I'm going to need a seal seal that goes between the transfer case and the gearbox I'm also going to need the rear bumper stops um, four new shocks because they're original with 109,000 on them and they're pretty rusted out and I'm also going to I have a small leak on the right rear um, axle seal so I'm going to change them both have them both changed so um, that's what's going to be going on next week um, but, um, you know, the other thing I want to talk about was, was the ammo firearm availability situation. <laughs> um, ammo is very hard to come by right now. I mean, you know, and it's very expensive. Simple, simple ammo that was so plentiful, like 22 long rifle, for instance, um, you know, for 50 rounds, they want like $35 some of the places or 20 bucks in some other places. But um, it looks like everything is out of out of stock. It's kind of crazy. But um, all that stuff, it's it, 45 ACP, 9 millimeter. I think they had some 223s, some 45s. But um, for the most part, ammo is at a, it, it's, it's just... I don't know. I don't understand why there's a, a, a shortage of ammo. Now, I understand with COVID, you know, the factories were down and all, but it it just doesn't seem, you know, right to me that uh, you can't get any ammo basically anywhere. And uh, even handguns. You walk into a gun shop, there's, there's all the cases are empty. All your major rifles are empty. There's only a couple here and there. And that's, you know, my uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law went down to Atlantic City and went to Bass Pro Shops and took pictures and sent them to me. The cupboards were bare. I personally don't, I, I don't know, I think there's something else going on here. That's my opinion. Um, it's not good, you know. It's not a good deal that uh, you can't get any ammo. I know everybody's buying it and everybody's hoarding it, but... There should uh, there shouldn't be a problem getting ammo. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's it's a crazy thing. Um, now shotgun shells. I think I was looking. Even some shotguns shells or uh, ammo is is low. So uh, something crazy going on. You know, um, the availability for ammo and the availability for you know firearms especially in New Jersey. I think a lot of the blue states are something going on. Something tells me, my intuition tells me something is, uh, something is going on and something's not right. Um, and like I say, I purchased a 9mm SIG, you know, P320X Compact about three weeks ago. Paid for it. It's mine. And the man told me uh, six to eight months before I get it. Not weeks, months. That's a long time, you know. That, that's a long time. Uh, something, something's not right. So I got that in the works. And uh, then I went and put another, I put in for another purchase permit. In case this permit expires, I have another permit to back it up. Because this maybe this handgun won't come in until uh february who the heck knows i don't know crazy stuff um and the other thing i wanted to talk about this is going to actually be a short video because uh it was just a couple of things i wanted to mention um the other thing we found a nice they they fixed up the rifle and shotgun range up at flatbrook beautiful job they made six six stations where you can shoot left-handed right-handed and um 
I think it's about 60 yards, somewhere in there. Not bad, you know. Warm, brand new, covered, really nice. Concrete pad, two nice berms. And we went up there and um, had a great time. I enjoy, I shot probably, I don't know, 60 rounds. But I'm going to go up there again, you know, during the week, next week maybe. I do have to drop my Jeep off next week sometime, so I'll have to see when I get the Jeep back and all that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back up there and bring a bring a thermos of coffee and um, and shoot. And that's what I'm going to do. I, they say you could bring pistols. I might bring my 22 Ruger semi-auto and shoot that up there a little bit. Um, but uh, some, some places, some of... The, the stuff I read says it's a uh, it's strictly room fire you know and other places say other places I read say that it's you can shoot center fire up to 30 cal that's a big difference you know from rim fire to 30 up to 30 cal you know I could shoot my 227 up there my 35 caliber my 30 out six I don't know too expensive to shoot them things but um, but I would like to shoot the 223 shoot maybe 20 30 rounds out of that see how how accurate it still is because it was very accurate um other than that um that's it but i just want to remind everybody to vote if you can vote in person do it if you can't i guess you got to vote by mail but vote and um you know trump 2020 and that's it. I'm hoping. Uh, actually, I know he's going to get in. There's no problem. But uh, with that, we're going to say uh, have a great day. God bless America and be safe.